for today's video, I wanted to explain a sticky, not a sticky, but a hard situation that I went through a couple weeks ago and a lot of you guys have been asking what happened and why it happened, so I'm just gonna kind of explain that. This is honestly a really hard thing for me to talk about because I'm not exactly sure how to go over it. I'm not trying to stir any drama or cause any problems. I just kind of want to give you guys an explanation because I think you guys deserve it and everybody's wondering. Me and Capron dated for about seven months, almost eight. We started dating in December last year and we broke up about four or five weeks ago this year. So I don't really know like what the exact date was, but it was a few weeks ago and a lot of you guys already know that. Some of you guys are still super surprised, but yeah. We kind of have kept it on the down low because it was a really hard situation for both of us. As to why we didn't work out, so I'm a firm believer of being able to love somebody and not being the correct person for that person. Like you can love somebody to death and just it won't ever work out just because you're not the correct person. And I kind of think that that's the boat that we were both in. We both loved each other a lot. We're just not healthy for each other. Um, we would butt heads a lot all the time and yeah, that's just kind of the whole main reason why we didn't work out. We were just, you know, arguing a lot. I know he's going through a, a really special time in his life right now. You know, he has a lot going for him and I'm super proud of him. We didn't meet at the right time. Let's just say that. Um, if we would have met later on, would have things worked out? I don't know. But everybody's asking me if we're still friends. The answer to that is no, we are not friends. Um, you can't really be friends with your ex. I don't think that's a thing. I can't be his friend without still having feelings for him and he can't be my friend without still having feelings for me. So as of that, we don't talk at all. I don't talk to his family at all. The only person that I do keep in contact with is Ashley. And she's actually coming over today and we're gonna hang out, so that'll be fun. But yeah, so I just kind of thought I'd enlighten the situation a little bit and talk about it, just a snippet, because you guys deserve that, and yeah. It's really hot and I don't know why I'm wearing a denim jacket inside. I thought it'd be funny to text one of my ex's song lyrics just because those videos are always super funny and you don't know how they're going to reply. I obviously can't do my previous ex just because that's the not, not the right thing to do, so I'll do a different one. I changed his name in my phone to X just because I didn't want anybody to know his name because I feel like that's kind of a privacy thing and I didn't want to put him on blast like that. The song I wanted to do or the song I'm going to do is Best thing I never had by Beyonce. So let's see what he says. I plugged my phone in to record it on my laptop and I'll put my phone screen right here so you guys can see how he replies. What goes around comes back around. I don't know how long he's gonna take to reply. Oh, he's typing. That's awkward. <laughs> he said Natalie question <laughs> mark. What are you talking about? I say. What goes around, comes back around. He's gonna think I'm on crack repeating myself. He probably thinks I'm on crack already just for texting him because I haven't talked to him in, like, forever. It's kind of stressful, honestly, because I feel like I'm stirring a pot of drama right now, just this whole video. Oh. So I have really long nails and I'm like scared I'm gonna break them so I always open them like this. Okay, we're gonna double text. Oh, he's typing. That's awkward. Are you, are you okay? There was a time I thought you did everything right. No lies, no wrong. He's gonna be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I wonder how long it'll take until he realizes this is a song. He said, I know, I wish we could go back to that. <laughs> no. Boy. I've been out of my mind. He's typing, he's typing. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the heck? So when I think of the time I almost loved you, 
you showed your ass. And I saw the real you. It's so hot. <coughs> I hope this like screen thing's okay. Like, I honestly don't know how it's gonna look. And I'm sorry, I wish I could change that and go back to how we were before in the beginning. Well, here we go. Thank God you blew it. I thank God I dodged a bullet. Oh. Oops. I can't type apparently. I thank God I dodged. How do you spell dodged? That's not how you spell it. Dodged. Oh. Dodged the bullet. I'm so over you. I'm breaking his heart again. Was dating me really that bad? Am I the only one who like hates sitting in their household with socks on? Or just like shoes? I have friends that come over and they never take their shoes off. I'm like, stay a while, take your shoes off. I'm confused, <laughs> me too. Are you saying you want to get back together or not? Well, this is a perfect answer. I'm so through with that. At least it makes sense. Like all this is like making sense. Like it's not just like lit, like glibber blabber. I don't think that's a word. And I'm always, that's what it says. And I'm always gonna be the best thing you never had. You guys, I really suck at typing. <laughs> he like type 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 boop. You guys are probably hurting his feelings. <laughs> you guys, it gets really mean. <laughs> you don't have to be so rude, you guys. <laughs> so sad. You're hurt. Boo. Who? Oh, do you expect me to care? Question mark. He's gonna be like, why did I ever date this So he said, is this a joke or something? And I think I should probably end it here because he obviously still has feelings for me and I'm not that mean of a person to where I'm just gonna lead him on super far. Um, I'm just gonna send him a screenshot of the lyrics to show him that it's a joke. What should I do? I think I'm just not gonna reply. Yep, yeah, that's definitely, I'm just not gonna reply. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to clear the air with some of the stuff that's been going on and you guys deserve to know at least a little bit of it. And yeah, hopefully me texting my ex wasn't too mean and he'll get over it. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel just so I can provide more funny videos and mean videos of me texting my exes. And yeah, bye!